Have you ever wondered where the idea of an invisible, globally reaching entity capable of challenging world powers originated? Our journey takes us back to the year 2003, on the digital corridors of an image-based bulletin board known as 4chan. This is where the concept of Anonymous was first birthed. In its infancy, Anonymous was little more than a collective of individuals seeking amusement through internet trolling. They were the jesters of the digital world, their actions often dismissed as mere online tomfoolery. The mask of anonymity offered them a playground where rules could be bent and the conventional boundaries of humor stretched. Yet beneath the surface of these seemingly trivial pranks, a revolution was brewing. This band of digital jesters was slowly evolving, their collective consciousness beginning to grasp the potential their anonymity and unity held. Little did the world know that this seemingly innocuous beginning was the genesis of a revolution that would send shockwaves through the cyberspace. From harmless pranks to a force to be reckoned with, how did this transformation occur? Let's delve into the metamorphosis of Anonymous, a transformation that began around 2008. Anonymous, originally a troop of internet jesters, found a new purpose in their collective might. Their turning point? A stand against the Church of Scientology. Anonymous launched Project Chanology, a direct response to the Church's attempts to suppress a controversial video of Tom Cruise, an outspoken member of the Church. The group's actions were not just about preserving the freedom of information, but also about challenging the Church's alleged abuses. As Anonymous transitioned from jesters to activists, their focus broadened. They became champions of social justice, internet freedom, and privacy rights. Their operations evolved from minor disturbances to major disruptions, their targets growing from individuals to powerful organizations. They used their skills not just for amusement, but as a tool for change. The world began to take notice. Anonymous was no longer just an internet phenomenon, but a force for social change. They were not just hackers, but hacktivists. Their actions sparked debates about the ethics of hacking, the power of collective action, and the role of the internet in social activism. What started as a group of internet pranksters had evolved into something much more. Anonymous had become a symbol of resistance, a testament to the power of collective action. They had shown that even faceless entities could have a profound impact on the world. The unassuming group of internet trolls had begun to morph into a formidable force in the realm of cyber activism. What makes Anonymous so elusive and at the same time so powerful? A question that's been on the minds of many. At the heart of this enigma lies a concept as old as human civilization itself, yet as modern as today's digital age, decentralization. Decentralization in its simplest terms is the dispersion or distribution of functions and powers, a shift away from a central authority. Anonymous embodies this concept to its core. There's no single leader, no central command, no headquarters. Instead, it's a network of individuals, each operating independently yet united by common goals. This structure, or lack thereof, makes the group incredibly difficult for authorities to pin down and dismantle. There's no head to cut off, no nerve center to strike, however, this decentralization is a double-edged sword. On one side, it provides incredible resilience. If one node is taken down, another quickly takes its place. But on the other side, it presents significant challenges. Without a central authority, there's no control over individual actions, no ability to prevent or punish misuse. Anyone can act under the banner of Anonymous, for better or for worse. This lack of control can lead to actions that diverge from the group's stated goals, even actions that are harmful or unethical. It's an issue that's come to the fore in recent years, as incidents of cyberbullying and harassment have been carried out in the name of Anonymous. It's a stark reminder that the power of decentralization can be harnessed for ill as well as good. And yet, despite these challenges, Anonymous continues to persist, to evolve, to impact the world in profound ways. Its decentralized structure, while fraught with difficulties, also grants it a unique adaptability, an ability to respond to a rapidly changing digital landscape in ways that more centralized entities cannot. So we return to our initial question, what makes Anonymous so elusive and at the same time so powerful? The answer is complex, multifaceted, and as elusive as the group itself. But one thing is clear, in the world of Anonymous, decentralization is both a strength and a vulnerability. How has a faceless entity impacted the world in such a significant way? Let's delve into some of Anonymous's most significant operations. Take, for instance, Operation Tunisia. 
In the wake of the Arab Spring, this collective targeted the Tunisian government's websites, exposing its corruption and censorship practices. Anonymous didn't just hack into systems, they provided Tunisians with resources to circumvent the government's internet restrictions, ultimately playing a pivotal role in the revolution that followed. Then there's Operation Payback, a series of retaliatory attacks against major organizations that were perceived to infringe upon internet freedom. When companies like Visa and MasterCard stopped transactions to WikiLeaks, Anonymous stepped in, launching DDoS attacks that disrupted their services. These actions sent a powerful message. The internet was a free space that couldn't be controlled by corporations or governments. Beyond these operations, Anonymous has been a voice for the voiceless advocating for human rights and social justice. They have been instrumental in exposing instances of police brutality, corporate greed, and political corruption, prompting discussions and actions that may not have happened otherwise. But it's not just about the operations. It's about the idea that Anonymous represents. An idea of a world free from censorship, where privacy is respected and social justice prevails. This idea has inspired countless individuals to take a stand, to question authority, and to demand change. Anonymous has redefined the boundaries of online activism, proving that even a faceless entity can leave a lasting impact. What makes Anonymous such a complex entity, you may ask? Well, their story starts from the birth as an online collective, transitioning into a force of activism that has redefined the boundaries of online protest. Their decentralized structure makes them elusive, Yet it's also a double-edged sword, making coordination and maintaining anonymity a challenge. Anonymous's impact on the world is profound. From exposing government corruption to advocating for human rights, their actions have shaken the foundations of power. Yet the ethical implications of their actions remain a point of contention. They've been hailed as heroes and decried as anarchists. The challenges they face are immense. Law enforcement agencies worldwide are in pursuit and maintaining anonymity in a world that's becoming more interconnected every day is no simple task. In the end, Anonymous remains an enigma, a testament to the power of collective action and the complexities of the Anonymous identity.